Please give it up for my new friend, Alicia Donahue, everybody. that I would like to air publicly here this evening. <laughs> My husband is obsessed with Phil Collins. <laughs> Did you know that Phil Collins has like 730,000 songs? And my husband knows every single one of them by heart. He is of the opinion that without the sweet, smooth stylings of Mr. Phil Collins, <laughs> World War III would have broken out in the 1980s. <laughs> he, it, it probably would. Let's be, let's be. Uh, he believes that the music of Phil Collins single-handedly ended the Cold War. <laughs> I told him that I was going to get up here today and make fun of him in front of all you lovely people. And he got excited. He took this as an opportunity to educate all of us about the wonders of Phil Collins. For example, did you know that in all of recorded musical history, 
there have only been three artists to sell more than 100 million copies of their albums. Paul McCartney, Michael Jackson, and, wait for it, Phil Collins. The worst part about this, though, is that he's really screwing with my Spotify recommendations. <laughs> I said, oh, I see you listen to the extended remix of Sue Sue Studio 300 times. <laughs> Perhaps you'd also enjoy the Disney Tarzan soundtrack. <laughs> no, I would not. Thank you very much anyway. <laughs> I can always tell. <laughs> I can always tell when he's had a really bad day at the office, because I'll come home, and I'll find him in the bedroom, and the lights are dimmed, and maybe, maybe there's a candle or two lit. He's got his headphones on, eyes closed, reverent. And it, the headphones may be turned up a little too loud, so I just walk in, and I hear, do, 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 do. You know what I'm talking about. I know, but you guys, it's okay. I can live with this obsession as long as he never asks me to dress up like Phil Collins <laughs> ever again. You guys have been awesome.